Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I wanna to share with you the fluorescence of extra virgin olive oil. Check this out. In this investigation, I'm using extra virgin olive oil, a graduated cylinder of 100 milliliters, a beaker with some distilled water in it, and a couple of green laser pointers. The first step is to make a layer of water on the bottom of your graduated cylinder so that your extra virgin olive oil can float on top of it. So just a little layer of water here at the bottom. So the second step is to layer some of your extra virgin olive oil so it floats on the surface of the water. So hopefully now you have this nice suspension of extra virgin olive oil over your water in your graduated cylinder. I like to do this for the comparison. So when you turn on your laser, you should be able to see a clear green line going through your distilled water. But it changes when it goes through the virgin olive oil. Check this out. Look at that. It changes from green to red. How is that possible? Now, if I tilt it, you can see it refract inside. And if I lower it a little bit, you'll see the green light down in the water, even though you have the red light going through the virgin olive oil. Isn't that amazing? There's that zigzag refraction again. Just amazing. How is that possible? What's going on here that would make that green laser turn red? Look at that. If I just shoot straight down through the oil, it's green as it's above the oil, but it's red as it passes through the oil, but then it turns green again near the bottom when it passes through the water. Isn't that something? What's going on here? What makes it change its color like that? So what you're observing in this demonstration is the fluorescence of extra virgin olive oil. So when we beam that green laser at the olive oil, the oil absorbs that electromagnetic radiation and its electrons get excited and they move to an outer energy level. But when they return to their grounded state, each electron elicits one photon. That's one particle of light. And we measure those photons by their wavelengths in nanometers. A nanometer is just one billionth of a meter. So the color green has a wavelength of around 500 to 550 nanometers, and it has a lot of energy. But the photons that are released from the oil have less energy in a longer wavelength of around 700 nanometers, which appears to us as the color red. And that's why the color of the light changes in this awesome fluorescent experiment. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.